What is up everybody? Tony here and welcome to Let's Play GTA 5 Fast. Let's not waste any time and jump right into the first mission of the game. So we're going fast today. That's the name of the game, baby. So with this video series, I'm going to be playing through the entire story. Oh, look at that. That's different. I'm going to explain what that is in just a second. But with this video series, it's going to be a daily video series. We're going to go through the entire story mode, mission by mission of GTA 5. I'm going to show off some rad tricks. And I'm going to help you finish the game super easy and super quick. Now as an added bonus, you might have noticed uh, through those loading screens and just looking at the game right now, the game looks a little bit different from your version of the game. Well, there's a reason for that. I just installed an awesome full game graphics mod. It's called GTA 5 Redux. I'll leave a link in the description below and it is absolutely incredible. It basically transforms the game from a PS4 game to a PS5 game, if the PS5 existed. Anywho, aim at this white guy shirt. White guy. Aim at the white shirt guy first, then the other guy, and then this guy. In case you didn't know. I just shot the ground for fun to scare them. Now you're going to take out your phone and detonate the place, so you can rob some money. But yeah, this mod is absolutely insane. It, may, it, it, it jumps the game. If you compare before and after, it's a PS4 game before, you're looking at a PS5 game right now. That's, that's how large of a jump we're talking here. Speaking of jumps, you see me jumping, and jumping is just a quicker way to move. So that's all I'm doing there. When I jump, I'm, I'm trying to move as fast as possible. Man, this mod. Wait wait until you see uh, the actual Los Santos. It looks incredible. It looks so realistic and it looks so colorful. You, you won't even believe it. So right now I just want to quickly switch to Trevor and shoot this guy in the head. Because he's an asshole. So another cool thing I'm going to mention is I'm actually playing the game in 4K. Uh... My PC could take it, so I'm going to do it. So I'm playing on some super high... All the settings are maxed out. I'm playing on this crazy high-resolution texture mod. It, this is a PS5 game, kids. This is how PS5 and the new Xbox... This is, this is what we're looking at here. Alright, so here we go. So this is a tough part of the mission. You, you might die here a couple times, but it's no problem. Just rewind the video and we'll see. So basically, right now, this car is going to come up, and I try to shoot them like that while they're still sitting in the car. So what you want to do with these cars that come is try to shoot the guys when they're still sitting in the car. Or just wait till they get out, it's fine. So see, I tried to shoot them while they're in the car. I kind of missed. No big deal. Just shoot the guys when they get out. But just make sure you're aware of your surroundings. Right here, two cars drive in, and then there's two guys on foot here you're going to want to take out. So just make sure you're aware of your surroundings and take these guys all out. Oh, see, reloading's tough. They might catch you there while you're reloading. I got lucky, but try to stay aware of all your reloading. And now here's another car. You're going to take out the two guys in that car. Try to always be moving while you're reloading so they can't just shoot you. Here's another car with two guys. So this is tough for the first mission. Don't feel bad if you die. There it is. I'm reloading again. Moving. Shoot that guy in the head. And now here's another car with another two guys. It's just the same thing over and over, really. And now here, another two cars come. So they're they're sending a bunch of cars at your ass. And you just gotta shoot them down. There we go. And this guy. He's dead. Alright, now we can get in the car and drive to the next part of this mission. Another thing you might be wondering is, uh, Hey, Tony, why aren't you playing GTA Online? No one cares about single player, you jerk. Well, I'm going to tell you why I'm playing the single player. Because when I play, first of all, I'm playing a mod. Idiot. So I can't play online. But second of all, and most importantly, whenever I go play GTA Online, I've played hundreds of hours of GTA Online. I noticed a lot of the players that I'm playing with or playing against suck at the game. And I think I know why. It's because they buy the game and they go straight into online without playing the single player. The whole point of the single player is to get you ready for online. And if you can beat the single player, you're going to be good at online. So that's the whole point of this video. I want to guide newer players to GTA 5 through the single player first 
so they get that experience that they need so they could play online and actually be good at online and make a bunch of money, CEO, all that good stuff. But you gotta play through the single player first. So right now we're just driving, it's pretty straightforward. We're gonna make a right here, and see we don't actually have to go right onto the train track. As you can see, if you just drive into the snow, the cutscene will trigger. And you're meant to hit that train, so don't worry if that hits you, because that's how it's supposed to be. Another thing too is, uh, for some reason Rockstar doesn't let you skip this cutscene. So we're watching it all, and I'm using this opportunity to explain what the video series is gonna be like. But for the rest of this video series, I'm going to be skipping cutscenes. And the reason for that is, you know, the game's years old at this point. If you're watching this video, I want to use this as a guide to beat the game. If you want to watch the cutscenes, you know what? You could either watch them elsewhere, or I'm going to upload all the cutscenes in this glorious 4K with this beautiful GTA 5 Redux mod going at the same time. So, for the purposes of these videos, we want to beat the game fast. I'm going to be skipping cutscenes, because there's a lot of sitting around and waiting, okay? So, that's what we're going to do going forward. So coming up is a really tough part. You got to be good at this game. Oh, I did it. So all you have to do there is get out of cover and run away. You actually don't have to shoot any of the police there. You can just get out of the cover with Trevor there and run away. And this cutscene will start and now more waiting. So this is a lot of waiting, so I'm probably just going to speed up the video here just a little bit, just so we can get through it a little quicker to the next gameplay. And even though this is technically the first mission of the game, I'm going to be playing until the first point that you could save the game, which is the first point that the game says mission complete, which is just after we drive around uh, coming up next. Whoa, 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 fast forward, fast forward. Yeah, you're going to be the best. You're going to go online, you're going to have all the sick tricks, and you're going to run shit against all those other scrubs. I promise. So right here, I'm skipping the cutscene. Now, we are Franklin, and we're going to get into the red car. So right now, we're keeping up with Lamar, who was in the white car there. So I'm just doing a little trick here, driving up the mountain. And as you can see, I'm slowing down time there. Uh, each character in this game has an ability, if you're new to the game. And Franklin's ability is to slow down time while he's driving. So it's a really good way to drive and keep control of your car when you're going at high speeds. So right here, what I'm doing is I'm taking advantage of the map, and I'm not exactly staying behind the blue dot, which is Lamar. And the way you're supposed to do this mission is stay behind him and go real slow. But this is Let's Play GTA 5 fast, so I'm going real fast here. And I'm basically anticipating where he's going to be and beating him to the punch. And the point of this is, especially for a beginner, this game allows a lot of freedom. So basically, you could just drive however you want, as long as you get... As long as you don't get too far from Lamar, it's okay. You can, you can really tackle this mission and any mission in the game really however you want. So I'm going to be showing you a lot of that freedom in this video series. Oh, God, did not mean to do that. That was a beautiful collision, but it was also slow. So now he's catching up to me, which sucks, but... It's okay, we're still going real fast. So we're gonna, look, we're just keeping up with them, no big deal. Hang a left here. Now watch, we're gonna go right here. Now we're gonna pass him. Because he's slow. We're gonna turn left up here. And then we're gonna make our first right. Go under these little roads here. And then hang a left and head under into this garage. Which is where the mission triggers a cutscene. Now we have a two-star wanted level. So what you want to do here is slow down as you're making this turn. Um, it's just a cute little trick that actually helps you get rid of the wanted level quicker. So you're going to want to do the slow down uh, power with Franklin as much as possible when you're hiding from cops. 
And now the way cops work in this game is the more you move, the more likely they're actually going to find you. So what I'm doing here is I'm just in an intersection and I'm looking at my map and I can see at the bottom right there, there's two cops trying to find me. But if I just don't move, you know, they're not going to find me. And if they start heading in my direction, see, I could start driving away. But I just shaved off about 10 seconds there. And a two-star wanted level, you need to wait about 33 seconds before the wanted level expires. So all I'm doing now is just, look, I'm hiding around in alleys. I'm heading towards the right intersection that we're... You see the wacky inflatable arm flailing too, man? That is the car dealership we're looking for. So now I'm waiting, and now that the wanted level's gone away... We could continue with the game. And look, we're supposed to walk into the car dealership and trigger cutscene, but I'm not about that. I'm walking out the damn door because it's faster. I'm skipping cutscenes. And now I'm gonna just run to my car. Oh, that's the red car. I'm sorry, buddy. I banged it up. I was supposed to keep it in as good condition as possible. Didn't do that. But it's all good. So we're trying to go fast here. God, just look how gorgeous this is. My god. I can't even take it. Anyways. Now we're just going back to Franklin's house. And here's a little shortcut through the alley. For any beginners. And now as I drive through at a high speed, I'm slowing down so I can make that turn real easy. And there's Franklin's house right there at the red driveway. In case you ever forget. Red driveway, you just go right into the garage, and that's the end of the mission. So thanks everybody for watching. I'm going to be uploading a new video every day of a new mission in GTA 5. So I'm just going to save here, and thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm going to have a lot more to come. Thanks everybody.